do it this time. Before we get started, thank you, thank you, thank you for tuning in today. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button down bottom right down here. Make sure you hit that notification bell so you can get these updates daily. I appreciate each of you for coming through and being part of this infancy phase of the We've Told Me Army. Today, we're going to explore rules and just throw them out the window. Regardless of what anybody told you earlier in life, there are no rules, period. Sometimes the problem I think for us is we see so many people living this fairy tale life that we start to believe that we don't have any other options. You go to school, you get a degree, you get married, you have kids, white picket fence, and life is just lovely, right? You see it in the movies all the time, TV shows, spread across social media. You have to be this way. This is living the ideal dream. What you thought was some written code or rules on how to get ahead, well, I have news for you. It doesn't exist. The power of living in this day and age is that nothing you do goes, on no goes unnoticed. And on the flip side of that, everything you do, for the most part, gets noticed. Conflict of interest, to say the least. My honest opinion, though, is that if you're someone who lives by a specific code of conduct or a specific set of rules that society set for you in the past while you were growing up, you're in for a rude awakening. Because how you go about handling your business, your relationships, your social circles have no rules. And honestly, if someone wrote a book about it and guided you step by step through the process, would you want it? If so, I think you're behind on the eight ball. See, most of the people think that there's some type of secret sauce. It's some special flavored Kool-Aid you got to drink to live a life of abundance, to live this grandiose life that you need to work around that's going to fix it all for you. It'll all be fixed. Like, let's take school, for example. Sometimes I get into debates with people about specific thoughts on college, right, as in a higher education past high school. And I always ask, okay, so you're working as a real estate agent or a manager in retail or you run a small online business or you sell product. How much did your schooling contribute to your success with that? Now, I'm not advocating that people don't seek higher education or that you don't seek some type of trade or skill. But the reality is that when I graduated in 2008 from college, during the worst recession since 1932, we all thought, oh man, we about to take over the world, right? Until you get hit when you get out. Now, thankfully for myself, I had already started a business a year before I graduated. But you come into the market that wasn't built for specific majors. So what do we have to do? Like, we basically had to rough it. Did you know that more than 40% of college graduates, like when they leave college, did you know 40% of them take a job that does not require a college degree? I'm going to repeat that for you. 40% of the college graduates in this country, when they leave college, take a job that doesn't require them to have a degree. That means that almost half of the individuals who attended college with a specific major, marketing, finance, graphic design, engineering, that means that despite their probably eighty dollars to $100,000 in student loan debt, once they graduated, if they didn't have a scholarship or their parents weren't wealthy, have to work in a field that they have little to no knowledge in. How interesting is that? So what does that tell you? That tells you that the set of rules of the past aren't the same today as we head into the future. Some of the biggest people that you know that have created websites and started different business ventures and are gazillionaires, they knew this before it became a reality for our generation. So here's what I've learned through life. First, 
you have to find a way to be self-sufficient. To try and have your income dependent solely on one source is going to end up for you as an utter disaster. Because guess what happens if that source dries up or they do layoffs and you can't provide the same salary or we go through another recession? Well, you're in a ton of trouble. A ton of trouble. Second thing I learned is that your mentality about how you tackle debt, saving, investing, that can be your saving grace. If you can come to the realization that in this life, time flies by the blink of an eye, by the snap of a finger, and start preparing for your later years, the sooner you do that, the better. I can't tell you how many times throughout the years from talking to a lot of like older individuals, retirees, that they mention how they are solely dependent on Social Security or how they wish they had saved better. Or I wish I knew more about investments when I was growing up back in the 70s and the 80s. You know why? Because they lived by a certain set of rules, a code of conduct that said, you'll be fine. Just spend it now. Everything will work out for you. Only rule you should abide by is that there are no rules. Try to develop as many forms of passive income as you can. Make your money work for you. Find a decent, steady, and secure investment that can help you build for your future. Get a 401k. Invest in an IRA for yourself. You don't need to make millions of dollars to do that, but you will need to get organized and do your homework and stay focused on the end game because before you know it, we'll all be in our rocking chairs back and forth, retired. And you're either going to be living comfortably because you lived by your own set of rules, built your own future smartly, invested that money soundly, or you'll be in your rocking chair wondering, how the hell did I get here? And how the hell am I going to pay for that already refinanced twice mortgage? You make the choice. It's up to you. But just remember, I told you, we've told you, you have to start living by your own set of rules starting today, right now. Appreciate you guys tuning in today. As always, make sure you like the video before you head out of here. Comment if you guys have a specific topic or shoot me an email. Let me know if there's something you want me to tackle next. If you are new, thank you for checking us out. Just make sure you subscribe to the channel. If you want these daily updates, if you want this daily motivation, I am here for you. I got you. And I appreciate all of you. And as always, until I see you guys next time, peace.